Jensen Button and welcome to Formula Kart Stars. The Formula Kart Stars Roadshow has packed its suitcase, got its wheels wet and travelled to Genk in Belgium. Hello there and welcome to Formula Kart Stars 2010 at here at this awesome karting facility in Genk. We love coming here as an example of a proper modern karting circuit. Decent food, decent facilities, and the track's not too bad either. Look at the circuit here. It's the longest and biggest circuit on the calendar. The first corner here is always accident prone. More often than not, there's probably going to be some kind of incident on the first lap. It then goes into a very long middle section. Got to keep it smooth and steady the whole way around. And the whole lap really kind of builds up into the last corner, which always has a few last ditch efforts where you can make or break your race. The British Cadet Championship, the arena for future motor racing stars. It's easy to get carts and carters mixed up. They all look relatively similar. There is, however, one driver who's determined to stand out from the crowd with help from his friends and family, Trevor Nelson. My, um, my cart's got a really unique uh, paint job on it and um, his name is Terry Bradley. He's a, com I can't say it, a compensatory artist, contemporary artist. And um, he, he supports me in my racing. When he heard about Trevin and Lewis Hamilton and all being in the same team, he was very excited to be part of it. Because I was being a bit of a petrol head himself, as he would say, with someone from Belfast and this young kid, obviously with a lot of talent, and people believe in him that he's going to go somewhere. With his painting, when he hears that TJ's been on the television or had great results, he's in the painting away and, you know, thinking of other things. It gives him a bit of spirit, you know? So it's, it's fantastic. This is a new one he's given to me, a new, a new front pod. And um, just inside here, this is all new. My favourite one is going to be the floor tray, I've got to say. That's my favourite bit. Donald Trump, Bono from U2, Madonna, the Boyzone, and a lot of the rock bands and stuff with Biola's work. I've always wanted um, a different sticker kit from anyone else so I can stand out and look good. And so if I make it to Formula One, they can always remember me as having this sticker kit. time for the cadets. I'm in the holding area, standing next to TJ Nelson's cart, which is standing out as always. We're here with Max Vaughan, see how he's feeling before the final. Yeah, I'm feeling really happy for the final, because I managed to win both my heats, but unfortunately I'm starting second, because so did Tom, Tom Harvey, and um, we'll see how it goes. I've just got to get around the first corners in the second, and on the outside, so as soon as I can get on, I can see how the race unfolds. So you fling yourself across the inside of the track, seeing it goes green? Yeah, I've, I've just got to get across, otherwise I'll be, I'll be hung out to dry, and then I'll, I'll be going back to sixth or worse, so I need to I need to get across the start. We'll be watching, good luck. Okay then Richard, over to you for the British Cadet final. Thanks very much Ed, away they go for the start, cracking start from Tom Harvey, double heat winner here, shared with Max Vaughan into turn one, how they get through without causing any problems, he's absolutely a build me, if we go on with Lando, nice bang, that's a massive one for Lando, then he climbs up onto the seat of that other car, but hopefully he'll be able to carry on. Now then, we're looking at Nathan Aston running well here. Here's a replay of Nathan going past the number 11 car of Rory Cuff. The 13-year-old from Dalston makes it through, makes up a position. And now here he is in second position, challenging 13th car, Tom Harvey, through. So first and second go through. Aston's going to have a little look, see whether he can go past Harvey. Takes a wide line there. Aston decides not to chase that through. Harrison Newey in the 89 car is there in third place. And this is the battle for the lead. On board with Nathan Aston again. Getting very, very close to the 13 car. Almost climbing in. But he goes wide. And through goes Harrison Newey. Harrison Newey, son of Adrian Newey. Obviously good racing pedigree in that family. And Harrison's come through for the lead. 
brilliant manoeuvre from him. Newey in front, now up into second position goes Nathan Aston in 79. They're all swapping places like, like trading cards here. This is absolute trademark Formula Kart Stars action from the cadets. Really close racing. And Newey it is that's out front at the moment on 98, putting a little bit of a lead away from the second position battle 79. Going, hanging on to it at the moment, Nathan Aston, 13, Tom Harvey looks over his shoulder, number five, Max Vaughan's going to try and move up as well, Vaughan is nearly through into third place, yes he is, Vaughan up into third place, next target, it's going to be Nathan Aston, 79, looking back from Max Vaughan, coming up to challenge him is Tom Harvey down the inside, through in 32 as well, goes Ross Gunn, the youngster from Preston, now then, Ross Gunn, he's making overtaking manoeuvre here, he's going to go up in challenging for fourth position, can he go through? 13 goes down on the inside into third place. So Tom Harvey up into third. Now then, Nathan Aston challenging for the lead. No, he isn't, because through goes Harvey. The 13 car into second and now into first. Harrison Newey down to third on one corner there. That's exactly how sometimes this plays out in Formula Kart Stars Cadet Racing. Newey dropping back, but look at Max Vaughan ahead of the 29 car. Philip Rawson, the workshop youngster, is trying to go through. Now then, 79 looking through. Nathan Aston on the inside, so too. He's 32. Ross Gunn, a little moment over the curbs there on the outside. But Nathan Aston now being passed by Harvey. Here comes Harvey again. 13. Guess we've got far from unlucky the 13 play for him today so far. He is out front. 32 in second position is Ross Gunn. And things just calming down momentarily. Nathan Aston. Uh, next up, then it's the 95 cart going through. James Kellett, the Cambridge youngster, and now 13 outside line. Surely gets hung out to dry. Yes, he does. Place changes there as the uh, Bonvilston base driver drops down the order. Now coming under pressure again from 29, but he's followed through back into lead position. So Harvey back in lead position. 29 next, Philip Rawson. 95 in the mix as well is James Kellett. This is a fantastic, look how many cars are, carts are going all over the lead here. Now who's going to come out of this one? Three, four wide as they come into the corner. And it's Rawson that leads now three or four of them over the curbs. Here's a rerun of Max Vaughan coming up into third place. So many carts, job to know where to place it, but Vaughan does the job very well indeed up into third position on cart number five. But out front, Rawson still hanging on, getting clouted there as they go by 13. Tom Harvey back into lead position. Goodness me, how they keep their energy levels up here, I've absolutely no idea. But Max Ford now second, cart number five down the inside, followed through by James Kellett in 95, also followed through by 29, Philip Rawson, trying to get back onto the top podium position. There's Rawson, we're looking back at him from Max Vaughan, who is there in cart number five. So Vaughan leads. He's uh, very much aware, quick glance over his shoulder, Max Vaughan, bang, into the back of him, goes 29. So Rawson really working hard, trying to go through, but goes wide, 24 goes through. Charlie Barlow goes through now in 24, another driver coming up and going for the lead. He's through, brilliant manoeuvre by Charlie Barlow into lead position, but Vaughan's going to fight back on the next corner. The door was left open, through he goes, maintains the line and defends through the next corner this is fantastic racing let's see what charlie barlow can do on 24 wants to lead back drifts wide 29 comes up the inside philip rawson back into second place now challenging vaughan vaughan goes into the corner defending well a little bit wide on the exit but none of the other carts deciding to take that outside line but look at this here comes rawson 29 very very wide line into the corner oh and he's just got bumped out of the way there, down to about sixth position tj nelson is coming in now well, we saw some great style from TJ on the run into this race, and he's really showing it here at the right time. Up into fourth position, TJ Nelson in the lead, though. 13, Tom Harvey leads this one, coming under pressure from Max Vaughan, who's looking at the outside line. Vaughan, well, he was second, he's third, he's now fourth, he's over the curbs, Max Vaughan. There is 14, TJ Nelson, who drops back behind them, but leading still, Tom Harvey is still there. Tom Harvey out front when it counts, 18. Alfie Brown, he's up into second place, they come to the flag, Harvey wins, Brown second, Vaughan third, Barlow fourth. What a fantastic cadet race. Well, I had a good start and from 22nd I got up to about 18th on the start. I was leading it going to the last lap and I led half the lap and then when I went up the back straight and when I got to the end of the back straight I got a huge hit from behind um, and then I went out wide and then, then, then Tom came through and then that was it, but it's just, yeah. Tom Harvey's 13 plate, proving far from unlucky, leads the championship by 21 points from Nathan Aston with Rory Cuff in third and Connor Jupp fourth. Philip Rawson is in fifth position with Santino Ferrucci in sixth.
And so it's over the Minimax now. And as ever, it's nip and tuck between the front boys. A reminder that these carts are 125cc with an engine restrictor, but they're still good for over 70 miles an hour. So it's final time for the Minimax. George Russell's leading the field, starting on pole. I'm here with Jay Goodwin. Now, how confident have you being able to stay with George throughout this final? Um, well, I've been able to stay with him in the, in the past, and I think I've been quicker than him throughout the day today. So hopefully I'll be able to keep with him, and hopefully I'll be able to beat him. Thompson and George Russell on the front row of the grid. Russell with two heat wins to his credit so far and makes a cracking start. Bobby Thompson then, he's there. Adam Gleary to second place, so Gleary makes a brilliant start from the inside of the second row, but there is George Russell out front again, 63. Bobby Thompson coming through and challenging for second position on the 19 car. Russell, this is exactly what he wants to get away. There's Bobby Thompson, replay of him going into second place. And as you can see, not actually letting Russell get away with this one, so Thompson on his way to try and check Chase down the race leader, is not ball, but Adam Gleer losing third place as well. Up goes Zubair Hoke into third position, and Thompson threw into the lead. Bobby Thompson, we saw him in our previous show, of course, challenging George Russell for the lead. Ollie Myers nipping down the inside of Josh White. It's the teammate, of course, of George Russell. But Bobby Thompson out front at the minute in 19. George Russell won't stand for that one too much. Quick look behind him, see who's there, and nips through on the inside. Brilliant manoeuvre, calculated manoeuvre from the 63 car. Ollie Myers making up a position again. Now look at the 18 car, Sam Oram Jones in front of him, but out front, car number 63, George Russell getting away in lead position, or is he from Bobby Thompson? Adam Gleer's back up to third. Thompson's all over the race leader again, but just dropping back as we get into the closing stages, and it's going to be George Russell to take another A final win, and this time it's a game. Russell wins, Thompson second, Adam Gleer in third. So just talk us through that race. Well, it was really hard at the start because uh, I can't, wasn't very good at the start, but then towards the end, I can't, started to get better, and I got a little gap, and it was really good. Yeah, I was, I was really close, but, but then again, George just got away. It's a bit quicker than me. All, all I had to do was try to stay very consistent uh, and uh, manage to get, get third. Well done. So George Russell, only four points clear of Adam Gleer in second position. Ollie Myers third from Bobby Thompson, Ryan Norris and Jay Goodwin fifth and sixth. Stay with us for Junior Max and KF3 after the break.